I've had a few people ask lately about rectangle shapes in Flinto for Mac, especially what happens when you import shapes from Sketch. So I think I can clear this all up. I've made an example document here in Sketch, and I've got a square, got a couple rectangles. I'm going to give this one rounded corners. I have a circle, I've got a rectangle with a border and a shadow. This one has multiple borders and multiple shadows. Then I have a shape here where I modified it to be some kind of wacky shape, and then I've got some text. I'm going to import this to Flinto using the Flinto Sketch plugin, and let's see what we've got. So notice that this square came through as a vector rectangle shape. I know it's a vector shape because I can scale it up and it stays crisp, uh, and I can change the properties like the background color, the border shadow, and the border radius. So that's true of all these, even this one with the border radius. Even the circle, it comes through as a rectangle, but we set the border radius big enough that it looks like a circle. Then I've got this one with a border and a shadow. That works. The shadow is editable. All those properties came across from Sketch. But then we have this one, and this got flattened into a bitmap. Now the default in Flinto is that everything gets flattened into a bitmap. In version 1.5, we added support for vector rectangle shapes. We don't support every property that Sketch supports though, so multiple shadows, multiple borders. If Flinto doesn't support it, we flatten that layer into a bitmap. So this is a bitmap, which means I can't change the background color, I can't change the borders. I could always go back into Sketch and change it and then import again. Same is true of this shape. It's not a vector because we only support rectangles, and this text, it also gets flattened into a bitmap. So it's important to understand if you're working between Sketch and Flinto. And uh, it's, it's nice to have uh, rectangles in some cases because you can animate the background color or the border or those different properties, which is really nice. And there was a tutorial I did about the behavior designer where I made a shape like this for a toggle switch and I animated the background color in the behavior. And a few people asked me how I did that because they were importing something that wasn't actually a vector rectangle shape and they couldn't change the background color. So if that is the case, well, you know, you can, you can redraw it using uh, rectangles so that you can anim animate the background color, or you can use two layers like this, stack them on top of each other, and then in your animation, fade one on top of the other.